Hey guys, just wanted to quickly share this sad story with you. So some of you may know that I'm really into this place, like in this case in OLED full color display, 9.0.95 uh, inch. And lately I saw the Samsung SGH.U900 smart not smartphones these are pre-smartphones in some thrift store and i saw that they have this touch screen area under the main screen with an oled display under and i was really into it i was digging it i ordered a bunch of them you can see one disassembled here and a few come came with yeah, some others as well, but a few of them are still on their way. Now, sadly, after turning this one on and also the one I did tore down here, where we have here the screen alone, which is normally soldered on here. And I already did some reversing of the pinout and such, but after now, yeah, getting this and seeing it on the other one as well. We have the big, big problem with OLED screens. We can already see it kind of, this flickering. But also that only half of the screen, after pressing some numbers, is working at all. We can see it glimpsing a bit. And in general it will work, but the main screen is just not fully functional. And I had the same problem with this one as well. And I start to believe that these OLED screens that are built in here, this, these phones are from 10 years ago around, I think, or even uh, 15 years, I think. I start to think they are not really salvageable, even if they have this super nice screen here. There goes my project. Yeah, just wanted to share it, because this is the one I will just, yeah, not do further, not spend any more time. As I saw that in another uh, eBay auction where I got an another one which is still on their way. It's also only working the top part. So every screen seems to be just destroying itself after time as we know from OLED a bit. Yeah, that's it. Just wanted to share it and yeah, sh show a little bit what I was into without any success but more on the hardware side because it would be such a nice goal to reverse the pinout fully and to salvage the screen we have here this 30 pin or 33 pin ribbon cable and the 1.2 inch oled screen which could be perfectly soldered onto a custom pcb after reversing all its data lines and such. But yeah, not so much. Have a great day.